And we're here for you and all the ones who get it done with a wide range of safety products and solutions. Plus board certified safety consultants here to answer your questions. Call, click Granger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. 1-800-GOD-JUNK is your friend with the truck. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. KCBS traffic and weather time. Yeah, you have to go to work on Monday, but we're going to help you get there faster. That's a good thing, right? Kim Wendell is on our <laughs> traffic watch. Yeah, you know, it seems, Melissa, like fewer people are going to work. Obviously, it's Halloween. I think a lot of people are probably stretching this into a three-day weekend, but we're taking a look at some commutes that are still a little bit pokey, like southbound 880 as you come down through Union City, just a little south of Alvarado Niles. Uh, there was a hit-and-run accident earlier that may have bogged things down, but that's off to the side or completely off the freeway, but from that point forward, we're seeing kind of sluggish conditions until you get down to Automall Parkway. Things start to pick up there. As you enter in the Silicon Valley, traffic is fairly light. In fact, 280, the little bits of slow traffic we talked about earlier are gone. So from downtown San Jose all the way to the Cupertino side, uh, it's great. You're at the speed limit here, at, uh, even through the Highway 85 interchange, which is almost always slow. Now, northbound 880, there has been word of a crash at High Street. It doesn't appear to be blocking, although they called emergency units to the scene because of uh, an injury in this uh, crash. This car actually went through a fence, so no lanes are blocked, but maybe something to look at because traffic is slow coming up from Davis. Your next update, 858 on the traffic leader, KCBS. Mancini Sleep World six-day forecast now from the KPIX5 Weather Center. Hey, good morning. It's Halloween, so let's talk about what those trick-or-treaters can expect outside as we head into the evening hours. Now, daytime highs today are sitting in the 60s no matter whether you live in San Francisco, Oakland, or even San Jose. Even as we head off into our microclimates, we're expecting upper 60s in our inland east bay, low 70s in the north bay, but we jump 10 degrees as we wake up tomorrow and head into the afternoon. Well, what's going on? We have a cold front pushing in tomorrow morning. Around those early morning hours we'll see wet conditions so scattered showers in the forecast for our Tuesday morning it lingers as we head into the afternoon and we'll keep our temperatures 10 degrees cooler than what we're dealing with today at least in our inland east bay and north bay for the coast it's still upper 50s in sight but we see upper 50s even in the east bay it'll cool us off as we wrap up this week and head into the weekend but those rain chances taper off as we head into Tuesday evening so we'll keep you updated here in the weather center for now I'm meteorologist Jessica Birch with your KCBS KPX 5 first alert forecast right now in San Jose it is 52 degrees it's 40 Six in Santa Rosa. In Oakland, 55. It's 56 in San Francisco. And in Hayward, it is 48 degrees in Concord and even 50. Traffic and weather together on the 8th on All News 1069 and AM 740 KCBS. KCBS News Time 852. Fernie Beyer and Vivian Bosu Skinner at the KCBS Editor's Desk as our News Watch continues. Well, it's Halloween, and that means kids, their parents, and friends will be out in Bay Area neighborhoods for trick-or-treating tonight. And along the way, they may encounter some, encounter rather, some scary and really quite large characters. KCBS's Jeffrey Ch Schaub reports on this year's trend. I don't know about you, but I'm scared. Here at the Spirit Halloween store in Marin City and at lots of other places like Home Depot and online, the rage are 8, 9, 10, 12 foot tall monsters, werewolves, skeletons, they move and they really get your face. Oh my, creepy especially to four year old Avery. Oh, they're scary and they're really big. Halloween in 2022 is all about outdoing your neighbors by ponying up $300, $400 for a monster sized fright fest. Jared Furtado was doing some last minute costume shopping. It's almost like Halloween is on steroids now, right? Yeah. You know it's what I mean? definitely, yeah, I think more people are decorating than usual. How do you feel about that? Um, it's great. I think, uh, you know, it makes it fun for the kids. I'm still scared. <laughs> In the North Bay, Jeffrey Schaub, KCBS. Trick-or-treating is off-limits in one suburban Detroit neighborhood. This is because of cockroaches. Officials in Wyandotte say a cockroach infestation has been confirmed at a vacant home after a tip from a trash hauler. Now, the pests have been moving around to other homes as well, and nearby sidewalks will be closed tonight. An engineer with the city says this Halloween ban should prevent the roaches from spreading more. Officials say it will take some time for the city to exterminate the roaches. 
Well, there are new developments in the matter of two men exonerated after years in prison in a high-profile case. We got that story from CBS's Steve Kathan. New York City will pay $26 million. New York State, $10 million. Settle lawsuits filed on behalf of two men who were exonerated for the 1965 assassination of Malcolm X. Attorney David Shainis represented Khalil Islam and Muhammad Aziz. Muhammad got out in 1985, but it wasn't until 2021 that he had his name cleared. Khalil Islam got out in 1987, but he died in 2009, many years before he was exonerated. Prosecutors said new evidence of witness intimidation and suppression of exculpatory evidence undermined the case against the two men. Steve Kathan, CBS News. Hey, CBS News time is Money Watch time with Jason Brooks. Well, we're looking at some better times for airlines, and Jason's got the details for us. Melissa, airlines have been enjoying a strong travel recovery as evidenced by strong third-quarter earnings reports and forecasts for the all-important holiday season. Morgan Stanley is choosing Southwest as its top airline stock, crediting Southwest strong franchise, management team, balance sheet, and exposure to the ongoing rebound in leisure and corporate travel. United, Delta, and American Airlines have all issued confident forecasts for 2023, while Southwest told its earnings call that while the airline is mindful of the economy and recessionary risk, they are not noticing any impact on travel demand heading towards the end of this year. Airfares could wind up denting demand if they keep rising, with U.S. airfares up nearly 43% in September compared to a year earlier. Stock market is fairly flat after that big rally on Friday. The Dow just turning positive. It's up by nine points. Nasdaq down 64, S&P lower by eight. Big tech stocks, which really weighed on the market last week in spite of the overall rally, struggling again today, and that includes Meta down four and a half percent. On the Money Watch, Jason Brooks, KCBS. Looking for the best way to address your water problems? Tired of slimy or undrinkable water? Well, you need to consider a life source whole house water system. This is Claire Beverly, and I want to tell you about the best salt-free water system available in the Bay Area. It's Life Source Water. Life Source provides the luxury of clean and delicious water from every tap and faucet in your home. Life Source addresses hard water problems like old-fashioned water softeners, but does even more, eliminating 99% of chlorine and other contaminants too. And Unlike a water softener, a life source system requires no filter changes, no salt, and no monthly servicing. That's right, zero maintenance. They install it, you forget it. Transform your home into a clean water oasis with Life Source. For a limited time, purchase a life source system without paying a penny for six months. No interest and no payments for six months, subject to credit approval. Call 888 712 4279 for a free consultation with a factory representative or visit lifesourcewater.com. That's 888 712 4279. Life source, taste and feel the difference. No one knows where this market will go. Things could change tomorrow, next week, or next month. At Merrill, we've been here before. And history shows this is the time to stay focused on your future. Because through every market, the bull will always have your back. Find an advisor in San Francisco at ml.com slash bullish. Merrill, a Bank of America company. What would you have the power to do? Investing involves risk. Your Orange Pierce Better and Smith Incorporated registered broker dealer, registered investment advisor, member SIPC, a wholly owned subsidiary of Bank of America Corp. West Coast Men's Health has helped thousands of men overcome erectile dysfunction and Peyronie's disease using acoustic wave therapy. No pills and no shots. But it's not our success stories that separate us from the other clinics. It's how we interact with our patients. From your first call, our medical staff will take the time to answer your questions, whether it's about your ED, how our treatment works, or even about the cost. Our goal is to inform and educate you so you're comfortable when you come in for your first visit. And right now, we're offering a free treatment for just coming in. That's right, you can try this treatment at no cost to make sure it's right for you. So if you're tired of frustrating nights, you're ready to get off Viagra and put an end to your ED or Peyronie's disease, then give West Coast Men's Health a call today. With clinics in San Mateo and Sacramento, call 650-407-1168. That's 650-407-1168. Online at westcoastmenshealth.com. HSA cards welcome and financing available. CBS News Time 8:58. We've got Kim Wonderly in your local Honda Dealers Traffic Center watching the roads for you this morning. 
It was a lot busier earlier. This should be the heart of the commute, but we're actually seeing these commutes start to thin out, and this is evident at the Bay Bridge Chilton Plaza. Melissa, if you take a look here at the uh, Chilton Autobody Collision Cam, there's really no wait left at the Toll Plaza to speak of. Traffic is light into San Francisco, a little sluggish on the Skyway westbound, but that's to be expected. Even North 101 looks pretty decent. Normally, we see that ever-slow traffic around Cesar Chavez as you make your way up from the Alameda Interchange. Not so much the case this morning. Interstate 8 80s thinning out nicely. The sluggish part is from Albany Hill through Berkeley and that, uh, well, it continues down to Emeryville to Powell Street. The original